My mother always encouraged me, she said, don't, don't you see any nice girl around? And if I had described a nice girl, well, she would have applauded. But I was always looking for the ideal woman, which never came along. <laughs> She was an uh, English uh, girl, and I could practice my uh, dancing lessons. Jive, Jitterberg. I loved dancing at the time. From the very beginning, I uh, seemed to enjoy life. I had uh, quite quiet colleagues who were not on drinking bouts as they were in Singapore. Well, um, we uh, went for an outing with the office staff by car to, to one, uh, one of the beaches and uh, have fun. It was a beautiful scenery. There were beaches all around the island and also on the, on the mainland. And we went to the big wave bay and so you could do surfing and all that. The water was pure and clean. There was a cross harbor uh, race and also colleagues of mine swam across the harbor and I believe they have stopped it because the harbor is not clean anymore but at that time that was all uh, possible uh, and uh, well it was marvelous. Uh, going out with girls was quite normal and they were usually picked up at, uh, at uh, dance uh, parlors although it cost a lot of money. But uh, it should never be serious. Uh, they were always kind, but they uh, looked at you as if you were a walking Hong dollar note. Uh, uh, <laughs> and so, so uh, uh, there was always money behind you. You, you never knew whether it was. Uh, well, if it was a real love, they wouldn't charge for a night with, with them. But, uh, uh, I think my Hong Kong years are the, the most important years in my life and uh, the most dearest years in my life actually. Yeah. <laughs>